Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get high DPI resolution for your Mac. Now this is sort of like Retina Display. However, on the iPhone and iPod Touch have the newer screens, which are actually higher pixel density, have higher pixel density, and without a newer screen you can't properly implement it. However, what this basically does is shows all the UI in a doubled size. The one difference is it'll look a lot bigger on your screen because the the pixels pixel density. So it won't really be that practical, but I think it's cool and it sort of hints that there might be a Retina Display Mac in the future, and that would be definitely awesome because if these graphics were condensed into something smaller and looked as amazing as the iPhone screen, then that would be definitely something to to see. So how you're gonna do this is go into the app store and you're going to search Xcode and you're going to need to download it it is free and it's basically what um, is used to make apps and such for the Mac just download that it's actually two gigabytes so if you don't have enough space or you're running low in space I don't really recommend doing this once you download Xcode and then you're going to need to install it once you fully install it you can search for Quartz debug and then open that when you open quartz debug try that one more time you're going to need to hit window and then UI resolution another window might pop up here that's okay anyways hit enable enable high DPI display mode and it will give you this thing that says you need to log out However, I don't need to because I just did this before, and you're just going to hit continue. Once you log out and log back in, what you're going to be doing is going to System Preferences, Displays, and you're going to see a new display, which is high DPI, which you can see right here. And when we click on it, it will turn us into the new resolution. Now, the screen recorder doesn't actually work on this resolution very well, so I took a few screenshots, and I'll be showing you them now. So this first screenshot shows the top version is in the high DPI resolution and the bottom version is in just regular resolution. You can see, especially on the details on the icons in the app store especially, that the resolution is a lot stronger on the top one. Now the other pics are from other programs and it really smushes the regular resolutions so it's not very um, useful but it does show you that Mac has all the resolution for a um, uh, retina display if they were to imp implement it into the Mac. So just a quick video, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.